I'm feeling it. My bones telling me it's right. It's so different. But when you take me to the light, it's like a cigarette. And I'm burning at your lips. Is that so innocent? Can you kick it up and now I want to I'll show you all what you deserve. And no, we got so much to learn. Just how you do the magic when you look at me. No one I'm saying it inside your seat. Oh, and just like when we said I do, and it's only you who could do like that. I like it with you. I like it with you. I like it with you. Thank you. 
Still give me your loyalty, let's still give me your loyalty. Cause I'm taking the world you'll see. Cause I'm taking the world you'll see. They'll be 
I could be the one you talk to when you're feeling down I could be the one you run to when the moon hits the ground I can say what I'm feeling but the words just don't come out If you ever feel lonely girl just know I'll come around Cause I've traveled too far just to get to
Hello there and welcome back to the ECBI Rams channel. Thanks for joining us tonight. My name is Nice Binding Teacups and I'm a member of the stream team. Today we are casting our League of Legends Crimson team in the 2024 ECAC spring season. Before we continue, did you know that if you have an Amazon Prime account and have it linked to your Twitch, you get a free subscription to any Twitch.tv channel? That's pretty cool, right? So if you can, we invite you to use that free subscription on the ECPI Rams channel to help support our Rams. All proceeds go directly to the esports program. Today, I'm joined by Coach James. Why don't you tell us about yourself? Hello, thanks, Teacups. I'm just going to call you Teacups because nose buying Teacups is a long name. Like she said, my name is Coach James. I'm the head for the coach for the ECPI Rams. It's a pleasure to be here tonight. Uh, before we get into the action, we'd like to take our Thank our sponsors with a quick video from HP Omen and Game Fuel. Welcome back to tonight's stream. Tonight's match features our ECPI Rams Crimson team versus Brooklyn College Bulldogs. Now, if you're a current student at ECPI University and would like to try out for the Rams, please go to ecpi.edu slash esports slash tryouts and follow the six easy steps to schedule your tryout today. All right. Thank you, Teacups. Uh, so we have five players into the rift tonight. Uh, let's let's uh introduce them. So first off, we got Ames. Uh, he started out as our jungler last season, uh, and then coming into this season, but now he'll be playing eighty carry tonight. Uh, he's trying to get his bachelor's of science in accounting. Next up, we have Liquid. He's a veteran from last season. He has made the switch to jungle and watch out for his Briar gameplay. He's getting a. Bachelor's in Electronic Systems Engineering Technology. All right. And third, we got Ganks, one of my favorite team members. He does everything asked of him. Uh, whatever we draft, he he will play it, no questions asked. Uh, he's getting a Bachelor's of Science in Software and Development. And next up is Jordan. Team captain of the Crimson team has been an exceptionally strong support player for ECPI and is looking to end his final season with a splash. He's getting his associate degree in nursing. And then last but not least, we have Tiltlord, uh, our designated Ziggs one trick player. Uh, he'll be looking to dominate the mid lane in style tonight. He's looking to get his associate's degree with in mecha, mech, okay. Mechanical mecha, mechanical engineering technology. <laughs> what a word, right? So how do you feel about today's matchup? Uh, I am excited, actually. Both teams look really good on paper. Uh, I know that the Rams have been practicing really hard this week and last week. They kind of have been... Um, they had, didn't have to play for two weeks, but they've been showing up for practices and really getting all the scrims in, so... I know they're ready to play and show everybody what they got tonight. I'm I'm really excited to see what they bring to the table. League of Legends is one of my favorite games ever. It's really fun to play. It's really fun to watch. And I just want to see them like get everything. So I do know that there's like one thing in League of Legends right now with the new changes. Well, pretty old now, but there's a a choice that you have to make about the grubs and the dragon spawning at the first time. Correct, so yeah. is there anything you want to say about that? Want to tell us a secret? <laughs> uh, so I think the, the general school of thought for, for the grubs or the dragon, uh, they both spawn around the same time. Um, but it's grubs is kind of like you want to snowball, get an early lead, get gold early. 
<clears throat> and try to close out the game fast. Well, the dragon is kind of you're securing your late game. You're like saying, hey, we're getting the dragon. If we get four of them, the game's basically over. So you got to stop us from getting the dragon. So I, I like the dragon approach because you kind of put a stop clock on when the the enemy team has to fight you. Uh, but grubs are good too. So I, I know Ames doesn't particularly focus the grubs, but he will get them if they're available. Yeah, grabbing some grub. <laughs> grabbing the little grubbies. Grabbing some grubs. Yeah, they're they're a really fun addition to the game. Um, and what is your favorite dragons to see? Which dragons are you hoping to see in these games? I mean, the way our team plays, uh, I prefer the uh, shoot the fire. I don't, I don't know the actual names anymore, but the fire Drake. Uh, I like Infernal. the fire Drake, Infernal Drake, Red Drake. You know, fire Drake. Yeah. Adding uh, it damage. Does, it does the most damage, and the way our team plays, it's very explosive. So the extra damage just helps. You know, the fights go faster. Yeah, that's definitely one of the strongest rakes that you can possibly get on any team, honestly, because who doesn't want extra damage? Right. Really. Uh, <laughs> and I think actually the most underrated one is actually the Wind Drake. I, I love the Wind Drake. Everybody uh it's like, oh yeah, it's the <laughs> weakest one. It doesn't really give you anything, but it gives you out of move out of combat move speed and lets you just speed around the map super fast. So I, I actually like that one. But, uh, yeah, doesn't... I think it was really underestimated for sure, because the faster you go, the faster you get to go to the objectives, the faster you can go to the other enemies, like the turrets, and the faster you can, like, you know, compete and try to secure those key things in the game. So it's definitely underestimated, and it's like, an important one. Yeah, uh, I think I do think that the way these games go, I think Brooklyn College and the Rams are both very evenly matched. So I think you'll see. So like we said, the dragon and the grubs are on opposite side of the map. And you won't, you can really only take one if both teams are playing at the, like a, a high level. So you'll see a trade either, either we'll get the grubbies and they'll get the, the dragon or vice versa. Yeah. It also probably depends on which dragon it's going to be of which team would like to get the dragon over the grubs. All right. For sure, yeah. Um, it it, it kind of I think it depends on where Ames is on the map. If Ames is, uh, in the jungle on you know drag side and he's been focusing you know bot side for ganks and stuff, I think I don't think the grubbies will be as high on his priority list. I think he'll just be focused in the dragon. But if he's been you know top side or mid, I think uh, that will be a spot for him to be looking for the grubs. Also, it depends on what character he, he's playing. So we'll get to see yeah. what, what he chooses to do tonight. That's very, very true. So what do you expect from our players? What do you expect them to play? And how do you expect them? Like, what do you expect? <laughs> mm, I don't know how much I want to give away. Uh, we have done a lot of draft prep uh, on Brooklyn College and our team comp going in. I... <sighs> I will say that Brooklyn College has a very strong jungler and they have a strong AD carry and a strong top laner, but we're, I think they're going to look to exploit uh, the top mid to we're trying to exploit the top mid today. So I think top will be more like a tank matchup. Uh, you'll see mid uh, will be sort of like a control mage, probably a soul or Ziggs somewhere in there. Um, the jungle, I, I honestly don't know what to make of the the enemy jungler. He can play, he plays everything. So it's basically whatever Ames thinks. He's like, oh, that's what he's playing. Okay, let's let's counter. Yeah, or just we'll adjust to this. it. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, and the bot lane, I'm excited to see the bot lane play, actually. Jordan and uh, and Ames, sorry, I kept saying Ames. Ames is not the jungler. Liquid is going to be the jungler tonight. So whatever Liquid decides to do, Ames will be the AD carry. Um, and so the bot lane, I'm actually looking forward to seeing how it plays out. I we know that Brooklyn College plays some heavy hook characters like Nautilus, Thresh, uh, Leona, uh, anything with that can like engage super very hard, and we're ready for it. 
we, we know how to play against that. We're, we're going to see some J- Jordan and aim synergy down in the bot lane. So I'm looking forward to seeing that happen. Yeah, the synergy between those two really has to be on point in order to like just lane and actually get ahead in the lane. So I take it that they've been working on that a lot. Yes. For the last weeks. It's one of the most important. I've noticed that when I play myself, if you have a synergy with your AD carry, the lane is just so much smoother and so much easier. You know exactly what to expect. You know exactly what the other person wants to do. And you can do so many things. You can be like very aggressive, always fighting. You can just be like mellow and just farm. And you really have to adjust to each other's play style in the bot lane. Otherwise, it's a ginormous mess. Yeah. Uh, it looks like right now that the Rams are in draft. I wish we get, got the link for it, but I'm trying to get it for us right now. Hopefully, we'll be able to transition to it to see what, what's being cooked up. Yes, I'm definitely excited to see that. I am very excited to watch those games and call out everything that's happening for our viewers. Yep, we're getting the draft ready right now. It's it's coming live. We might be a little late for the game one draft, but uh, let's, let's see it. Okay, there it is. So it looks like we're... Okay, okay. Kind of what... I, I thought was going to happen. So we have a Kaisa for the Rams and a Smolder for the Brooklyn College team. Oh, Smolder, one of the newer champions. Pretty strong, especially like towards late game whenever they get all the stacks and they're doing all that like execute. That with the Elder Drake is definitely going to be tricky. They really have to shut down the Smolder. Yeah. I we think... also can see that Ziggs ban. Uh, you mentioned that our mid laner is a really nasty Ziggs one trick. So sadly, we don't get to see that. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of seen, known that he's a he. It's not he's not a one trick, but that's his main character. Looks like the draft is frozen though on my screen. I don't know on your screen. Yeah. Oh, oh. there we go. There it goes. There it goes. All right. Okay. So uh, Maokai, that's also one of the better supports. We don't know yet if he's going to be played as a support, but I would assume personally with a smolder. Yeah, probably with the smolder. Ooh, a Talia coming out. Trying to match that ASOL room. You're really right about the ASOL. You already called that one. It's he's just really strong right now. And I know uh Tilt Lord likes likes Ziggs, but Ziggs usually gets banned, so he usually defaults to something else. And uh, Asol has just been very strong. Yeah, he is definitely strong. Also, kind of scales really hard, and the damage he does, the slows utilities. It is a a great champion to be playing. Well, right now we got pretty good draft from both teams. Uh, Brooklyn is kind of poke heavy with uh, Talia Smolder and Rams are kind of, i say also pretty poke heavy. Uh, Kaisa, I don't know if you know the Kaisa build lately, but it's actually not AD carry Kaisa. It's actually AP Kaisa. It mixed damage AP Kaisa. Yeah, I saw it the, a few days ago. I saw Ames playing Kaisa actually, and he was so good with those snipes with that W of the Kaisa. It just securing every single kill possible and just a menace honestly i'm really excited to see it again a menace is is one word to describe it <laughs> <laughs> i would hate to play against it but tal salia uh can catch her so can maokai so i think good champs for brooklyn and let's see the band's coming through uh band nocturne and lee sin so two jungle bands and we also banned uh Vi and Amumu. So big jungle bands coming through. Okay. Oh, Ranger, the champion that always jumps scares me. I once actually yelled in real life when he jumped out of a bush at me. It he can be so scary because he just jumps at you and he can just delete you pretty much. He's got to get going though. If you if you're if he doesn't get a good lead in the early game, he kind of is not great, but he can one-shot uh the carries on the late game. 
Ooh, and there's, there's the briar. briar. <laughs> there's the briar. And Briar Shen, two globals coming out from the Rams. I'm really excited as well to watch the Briar gameplay right here. I'm thinking that Brooklyn's got to pick up a tank somewhere. So probably the top lane here. Uh, I don't know what I would play into that, but I think the tank is going to come through. Maybe Scion? Or... Hmm, not sure. Oh, the Orin. Okay. That's a very big tanky boy. Yeah, so both teams have drafted. What do you think about the uh, the comps? So, yeah, um, they both have a really, really good comp. They have the tanks to like actually tank for the team and soak up all the damage possible. We have the Shen, we have the Orin that's going to be a matchup in the top lane, but Shen is also a lot of utility with the big shield that comes with the ulti, and he's also very mobile that way. Um, there's two pretty much assassins in the jungle that are going to go head on head. Uh, I think personally that Briar might be a little bit stronger than R Rangar, but we can see how that's going to go. Um, the bot lane, the smaller Maokai, it's it's a really rough combo to go against, in my opinion. Uh, they do a lot of damage, even though smaller is a scaling champion, they still do damage in the early game. And... They're going to have to be careful about that. But with Rakan being like such a big engage as well, and the Kaiser being able to just stay back and snipe them and do some damage from afar, it might actually also really work in their favor. And then we saw the soul mid lane against the Talia. As long as more, the soul can stay away from the Talia, we should be fine. Um, he is very mobile. He can just dash in and dash out. So I'm I'm definitely excited. So what do you think? I think it's going to come down to who can stop the bleed not not the bleeding, but like prevent the other team from. I, I honestly think it's just going to be whoever plays better in the mid in the early game. The early game is going to be important if. The Rams are able to play, you know, well and not uh, bleed kills as they have in scrims before. I think they'll do exceptional in the late game. Um, but I, I do think both teams have a solid draft. I think the only thing I don't really like is the Rengar, but, you know, <laughs> I've, I've been proven wrong before. So maybe the Rengar is a, a tech that they they know how to use. Yeah. Ranga used to be very, very scary. I think he kind of has been falling off lately, in my opinion. Uh, I don't see him played as much anymore. It might be a me problem. Maybe <laughs> it's just because the game wants to save me from those scares in real life. Scared that I get a heart attack or something. But he's, uh, he's scary. It's just the second that he ults too, mm -hmm. you see those eyes, you hear the like, you know, the, the sound and everybody's going to be like, oh no, who is he going to jump? And everybody tries to protect the carries because he will jump somebody. He's out to pray. I think uh, it, he's the Kais is going to have to be worried today. Ames is mm -hmm. going to have to be watching out for that Rengar trying to assassinate him. Because Asol, I don't think Rengar really wants to go on Asol. He, he gets dragged in with that like big gravity orb and slowed and everything. Maybe even Zanya's. So Kaisa is probably going to be looking to get dove here today. Yeah, but Kaisa also has a Rakan as a support who can like knock him up the second that he jumps on her and take him all the way out. So I think Rakan is definitely one of the better picks against a team that just wants to jump on you. It's definitely good. Uh, like I said, I think it's it's going to be. It's just very. I think it's very even. These this these drafts are very very uh, scaling. Uh, you got Briar scales well, Smolder sp scales well, Kaisa scales well. I, every I think every champion scales very well. Shen is like kind of doesn't scale as well as Orn, but he can split push a lot better. So. Yeah, because Weesh. of his ult, being able to just go across a map just to save somebody and engage a fight. Mm -hmm. It's definitely one of the better champions to have. And then teams. you got Briar. Briar also has that global ult. So we shall see.
Yeah, whenever you hear that sound of her old, it's like, okay, who's she going to? Who's she going to? Who's got it on them? All right. It looks like we're getting into game. But uh, we can't see it. So all in all, like, everybody is really good at scaling. And oh, it's like... When you know that you have a scaling champion, you just have to respect the fact that early game, you just need to not die. That's yeah. the only way to actually scale, because if you don't respect that you have to scale before you can really dish out damage, and you do pick those fights that you technically are not supposed to win, it's just so scary that you will just give them kills and let them snowball before you even have a chance to scale. Yeah, it. I, I said I think Rengar. If they are able to not die to the Rengar, I think the Rams are going to have a good time. Uh, but if Rengar gets on a roll, it's going to be scary. That's definitely scary. Rengar is one of the champions you do not want to see on a roll because whoever him he picks in that old yeah, is makes. probably going to be out of the game. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we just just don't take. Uh, bad fights in the jungle because Rengar can jump through the over bushes and over the walls. It's, I think it's pretty straightforward. Play some clean League of Legends and scale up. And I think the Rams have practiced this kind, this kind of comp that we see them playing right here, um, quite a bit. So they know how to play it. I don't think they know how to play against the Rengar, but they're going to have to adapt. I'm sure they can adapt to it. I do yeah. remember one fun thing about Briar is that like when she does a certain skill, I don't know which one it was, you see her running at you and she just has to cancel it with another skill or flash and otherwise she just keeps on running at you. And I personally have abused that so many times just jumping onto my tower and getting them killed. So that's also one thing to be mindful about. Yeah, Briar's pretty funny. <laughs> she is really fun. She's but a really good go champ. Against. She's just a big she's just a big stat stick. She's like, "Hey, I'm going to run at you and my ability literally ha makes me run at you and I can't stop. So, I'm going to I'm I'm just going to beat you up with my superior stats." Yeah, pretty much. And she just does so much damage and then like barely takes any damage as well. It's just so mean. Yeah, she's got that uh that ability that I think it gives her damage negation and she also heals when she hits people. So it's pretty That's cool. definitely a good champion to have in your team. It, it, if played badly, Briar can be very bad. Like you were saying, she's exploitable. But I know yes. Liquid is actually a very good Briar player. <clears throat> there have been some funny moments during scrims where, you know, his character just keeps running forward and he's got to flash or do something stupid. But... <laughs> That that is the champion. Yeah, but you know, practice makes perfect. And the more you play it, and the more you know exactly when and what to push for the buttons, it's really, really, really important. And the more you practice with it, the more you're going to be able to just run at people at the right times. Yes. All right. It looks like we're getting into the game. We are on a three minute delay. Um, just for everybody to know. But yeah, we're loading in. All right, there we see it, the beautiful Summoner's Rift. There they are. I wonder if there's going to be any cheeky invades. I don't Especially... right now uh, Sol has the tier starting to stack that mine up early on against the Doran's ring. Oh, that's right. I see, I see that, yeah. He, yes. he went tier okay. first. Pretty, <clears throat> pretty bold. Doesn't give you any health regen. It's just pure mana. Yeah, both teams are respecting the other team, not invading. Yeah, both teams... Five pointing, making sure nothing fishy is happening. <laughs> They're just having fun, that lane. <laughs> just waiting for the minions. Stare. 
and dancing. <laughs> always fun. Always fun. Just taunting each other a little bit. It's just... Always fun times. Here we go. Game started. Let's see. So we got Briar starting the red and... Rangar as well. Rangar as well. So it looks like the... Rams will be looking for top mid because you're gonna have, they're gonna have to be. Ooh, actually, you know, Briar's actually doing. Um, she's doing Raptors first, and then she's gonna do Red. So not doing an a. I think that is the Briar path, unless if you want to go bot side. Maybe a level three gank coming in early. It's a few junglers that just don't want you to leash them, so you can be in a lane early and get that presence. And they're just doing their jungle thing on their own. Oh, a little level two engage from the oh, Rams. Good engage right there. And then ganks up top, fighting the Orn level two as well. I think both sides, the Rams had a really good trade right there. They yeah. had some damage, barely taking any themselves. So that's definitely looking good. Briar and Rangar just doing their clears. They seem to go pretty even right now already. Even though Briar had did not have a leash and Rangar did, they still are very even. Uh, interesting. The uh, the the jungle is warded for um, Brooklyn. They warded the Rangar's blue so that our jungler does not did not steal it. Very smart. That really is smart. Just to make sure. Like I said, nothing's really happening. But I think the first thing we're going to see is probably bot lane fight with this Rengar coming in. Yeah, yeah. We, we shall see. That's that's going to be a scary fight if Rengar does make it there since they're kind of pushing, but they're letting it push back right now. So. Yeah, the, the aims in uh, Jordan know that this is a potential threat, so they're just going to let it slow push into them. It looks like both junglers are on pace with each other, getting the uh, scuttle crabs on the opposite sides of the map. Okay. They were smart of uh, let, letting them push in bot lane. Ranger cannot get there. I'm not sure exactly what just happened to Til to Tilt Lord there. He dodged. I thought he dodged the knockup, but I guess not. Oh, that is a scary pick right there on Briar. Yeah, Tilt Lord having zero mana, zero health. Can't really help uh, the Briar too much in that situation. And I think uh, they knew they knew that, taking that fight. Oh, here comes a fight. Nope, just a little poking damage. Rakan can do those things. Just go in and say, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm a dash out now. <laughs> oh, I, for I forgot about the Shen, so level six is coming. Briar Shen. You might see some early plays, especially bot lane. Briar Shen, you can just four man something. If you if Briar hits an ult, oh, looks like Ames actually gets a kill. We didn't get to see that one, but it looks yeah, like Briar uh, was even pop going back down there. Yeah, it looks like Jordan just landed a na nice knockup on the uh, Maokai, and uh, Ames was able to secure the kill. Yeah, we have been seeing them like making really good little engages every single time. Every single time, Rakan just has like a really nice knockup. Ames is just completely following on that, and it's just those little skirmishes that you have. It just really helps you secure a kill. We do see Maokai right now around the mm -hmm. corrupts. Yeah. So it's looking like they're they're wanting to do a play around those instead of the dragon. Yeah, it doesn't look like the Rams know it's happening yet. They might, but it looks like they're pinging it, like saying, "Hey, bot lane's missing. Make sure you're careful." Briar's checking right now. Briar just got attacked by the Rangar. Yeah, Talia ults through and gets a kill on Liquid. And that, that was battle. a good pick by them. 
Yeah, I don't think the Rams wanted to fight there, really. I think uh, he just got caught off guard by the Talia, using the yeah. ult to, se to secure, to uh, isolate him. So it looks like all trader grubs going to the Bulldogs. Yes. And we'll see. There's nothing really happening anymore. It looks like Rengar is invading Briar. Briar's a, li a little behind, actually. I think, actually, she's on pace. She just has died twice. But her jungle is gone. Yeah. And now Shen and Briar Shen are looking. Shen is coming. Gets they the might taunt. be able to get a really good take right now on Rengar. Get the flash. Try to flash to escape. Orin coming in with his ult. Oh, a double knockup into the wall, though, is a little crazy. Nice little Shen ult. This fight is going everywhere. Yeah. And they just trade it. Not a bad. Actually, that's pretty good. Rengar flash is gone, expended. Uh, Briar was already. Shen might oh. be able. Oh, he got away with no health. That oh, he's so got. Upsetting. Oh, he has flash too. He could have flashed if if he had predicted the flash. He could have said, "Oh." He could have, but it is also dangerous still this early to die somebody under the tower, especially Orn with his CC. I think he, I think it was worth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Misses the taunt. Not bad though. Gets the auto proc. And he's just going to back after this. Shanna's doing pretty well right now in the matchup. Yeah. That's Orn's sure. scary. Orn's scary, though. He gets kind of tanky. <laughs> Sol is really respecting Natalia, but Natalia did get the two kills on Briar. Yeah. Talia is more of an impactful character early. She can... And late game too, but she's got more prio than uh, Aurelian Soul does, because she's got that ult and can move pretty fast. Yeah, it looks like Talia is looking either for Dragon or to gank bot lane. Yeah, but bot like... is all the way under the tower. Yeah, it looks like the lane gank was being attempted, but nothing coming through from the Rams there. <laughs> Just kind of farming up now. Nope, no, nothing to really play for. Dragon is up. It's the next contested objective. Uh, the Rams might not, might give it. Oh, also, Briar, oh, look, 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 going in bot lane. Yeah. There Hit, we go. It. We see the fight. It looks like yeah, they got a, they got a kill on the Maltai. Ranger coming back in. Ranger, okay. Liquid's gonna sacrifice himself. Knows Rangar is a, a threat. Talia Ooh. coming in as well, but. Rakan didn't want none of that. No. He said, okay, that's cool. So Talia ult expended. They could position around Dragon now because they have priority. And you can see the Rams are like, yeah, we can't really do anything. So they're going to give drag for now. It's it's just one drag right now. And who knows, maybe we're going to get infernal drags. And what dragon? That was the lightning, the uh, thunder dragon, the one that gives a uh... hex tech right now. Hex tech, that's yeah. what it's called. Thank you. No problem. So no I portals. This game so much. No portals will be coming online today. All right. Yeah, Briar just came, seems to be the sacrificial lamb right now. Like, she's been making some... Like, she got picked early and then made some good plays. But every time they engage in a fight, she's kind of all in. So she's kind of... She has it, to it be really like... really is a champion. She's going to try to get a gank off right now, but... Or an ace running. Yeah. Oh, he's kind of... Oh, he misses the knockup. That's hard. It's... That was rough, but makes him stay with very little health and mana. It looks like Jordan's actually coming up to help with this dive, but the enemy team is responding in kind. They're trying to get the grubs. Ah. That's why they're rotating. There's going to be a big fight here, I think. Yes, there's also a pink ward in the grubs. There's a prior ult going in. Oh my goodness, this Trying is kind of chaotic. Ranga, but Ranga got away. That was a big smolder ulti, but it doesn't seem to matter. Everybody still lives on the Ram side. 
Ooh, well, they big. can secure two kills right there. I think Rengar can just chase them if they don't run away. Oh, but That was Ganks. really smart right there. Ganks, Ganks with the smart. plays. Ganks with the plays. <laughs> I don't think he dies there, but Rengar does get the grubs if he stays. But the Rams do come out with a win in that team fight. That was a that was a big deal for them. Soul got a kill, Kai's has two, Shen now has two kills, and Shen does also do a lot of damage when he gets more kills. He has yeah. a tank, but somehow he just manages to always do damage. And Ranger got the last grub, so we got two of the three. It's not too bad, those odds. I think, if I'm correct. Uh, it's not that bad. It's the good that we got one. Uh, to prevent them from getting all six, but it's not definitely not good. Well, it looks like bots having another skirmish with the uh, the recon. <laughs> all right, there we go. Yeah, like I said, I think I was Rengar is going to become a problem. Um, Fairly shortly here. He already is a problem. He, he sure is. But once he gets that old, it's just a question. Who is he going to jump? It looks like Talia has bot lane, but Sol is also maybe going to bot lane, but... Nah, Sol is going back to lane. The ADC is not in the lane, and our support is actually leaving, so it was a really good choice for Sol to just leave and go back mid, farm up some while Talia is wasting her time in bot lane. But no yeah. fight to be had. But you saw, so that both teams like they have these big AoE damage team fights. They really do. And I think it's just going to come down to what team can execute better in this coming late game. But, uh, oh! So, <laughs> Ames actually, I think Ames upgraded one of his abilities. I'm not sure what he was doing, but uh, he did it right in front of the smolder. <laughs> oh, there comes the W. And then that W goes crazy. Once it gets upgraded, oh, it, it, if you hit mm -hmm. a cha if you hit a champion, like later in the game, if you hit a champion with it, it is on a one second cooldown. It'll just keep refreshing. Yeah, I really love playing AP Kaisa way back when. Looks like a gank has happened in the mid lane, but not really. Because oh, the Maokai. Huge and moment. The, yeah, good call to get out. TP is wasted by the Orn to prevent the fight from happening. Well, not, not prevent, but to, to attack the Rams. And the Rams just get out because they're like, okay, TP. Yeah, we're good. We don't want to fight her anyways. Oh, there's Briar a gets big a shutdown. Big shutdown. Rengar overextends a little bit and gets shut down. Another tactic I love feed somebody so they get overconfident and then just take that shutdown and run with it. I swear it's a tactic. <laughs> But that definitely brings Briar back into the game. Yeah, that's big. That's huge for the Rams. But I know that the enemy team has all the objectives so far, but... We're about we... to get the rift because it seems to be uncontested. Yeah. And the dragon's going to go over to the red team. <laughs> yeah, big time. They're All the members of the red team are there, except for Talia. Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't see which dragon this one is. But... They haven't got it yet. We'll find. We'll see you here shortly. Ah, chem take, chem yeah. punk or whatever it's called. Neither of them are really the best dragons, but the mountains are rise. So this is also one of the more like stronger dragons in my opinion because they will just make your team so much more tankier with the Shen and the Rakan. You'd rather have that on those two than on the Orn. Especially when they get that extra shield, extra defense, and you will do a lot less damage if the enemy has the Mountain Drakes. So here's to hoping that the Rams can get all four of the Mountain Drakes. 
Ooh, the, the Rengar is in our jungle, and the Rams do not know it yet. But Jordan might find out right now. I think he, he's. I think he's dead. Oh, maybe no, not. Oh, sh a big Shen TP really, actually. Really, really. Oh, and nice flash. Nice they flash. just turned that right around. There's another TP coming through behind. Oh my gosh, all the TPs. That Man, is... I saw that Briar ult just barely missed. That was that was sad. If the Briar ult would have hit there, they definitely oh. could have gotten the kill out Looks of there. Looks like but tilt. There's not bone fighting yet. <laughs> not yet, apparently. <laughs> not yet. But Orn, is, in the meantime, Orn is taking everything top lane. Yeah. Shen TPs to help get rid of that. But a good it play was a Orn. really, really beautiful turnaround there from Rakan. It looks like Rengar got a pick there in our jungle somewhere. He's looking to kill somebody. Ah, the Briar. I love Briar so much. Look at all that damage mitigation. Oh! Uh-oh! Wow, Kaiser just coming in. Like, don't mess with my jungler. There, oh man. The W build the... is coming. <laughs> Straight for that cleanup. That was beautiful. They're both on Xbox. Yeah, this this tank matchup is painful to watch. It's just like, okay, <laughs> cool. I'm gonna tickle you and you tickle me back. Yeah. Warren does win that, so I that's why you see ganks just kind of chilling there. I get it straight 1v1, eventually Warren wins. Yeah. Though I will commend... Uh, Brooklyn, they have so many wards everywhere. Well, uh, Kaisa just got a double kill and has her kill completed, so that's a lot of money right now that will be spent. We already got the uh, item. Ooh, look at that healing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Went from one quarter health to almost full. I think Kaisa has upgraded her W now, and uh, there's going to be some nasty folks coming up with that item. Yeah, that's if they don't kill the Kaisa, I think the game is pretty pretty easy from the Rams. You just keep you go to new you go to the neutral objectives like Dragon or Baron now, and you're just like Oh, oh uh -oh. Briar with the old it was landed. That was a uh, really, really good catch right there and the comet just to fin finish that off. Okay. Talia had no choice there but to die. Okay, I like Shen. Shen not backing down. All right. Yeah, that was that was good. Good good Briar ult kind of seemed random, but it hits. He hits him in the bush. Ranger is looking for a victim bot lane. Yes, he is the bot lane victim. Asol, he's looking for that Asol or the Kaisa. That's really his only targets right now. Yeah, but the Asol already saw him coming and was way out of the lane. He didn't want none of that. I wouldn't either. Mm -mm. Yeah, Kaisa's mana immune is. What is it stacked to? Three hundred? Is it three hundred or is it higher? Uh, it's three hundred, I think. I think is, is that the highest it goes? Is three hundred? Yeah. Well, you get extra damage for the more mana that you have, and she's got a lot of mana because of that mana immune, so. She'll be doing some big poke damage with that W. Oh, see, it goes higher. I don't know how much it goes to. Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, I forget. But it's get the more it ramps up, the more mana he, she it gets. I think more, more higher. Like, not much more higher. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was 300. Maybe it's 400. Let's see that poke damage. Let's just see how, that, how those Ws are doing on the... Uh, a red team. Let's see how much damage they're doing. She's Kaisa's poking from so far away over the dragon wall, hitting the uh, enemy team. I just wish I could see the damage. How much damage it's do actually doing. Well, the dragon is up, and both teams are trying to go for it. Shen yep. is just chilling because he knows that he can just ult in. There we go. And we big... have a pig right there, beautifully on Talia. The Orn ult comes through, but nothing happens because Talia was just caught. Ranker is in his ult. Oh, here we go. Again, there was a pig, but Rakan was just like, "Yeah, no, not today, buddy, not today." Yeah, big. The Shen still had TP. Shen still had TP. Did not use it that until the very late, and it saves Smaller his team. Smaller just leaving. Ooh. Smaller just doesn't want none of it. 
I mean, can you blame him? <laughs> He's like, okay, good luck, Orin. Have fun. I'm out. So, Smolder will become a problem. Those ults will start to hurt. Those Qs will start to hurt. Especially once they get execute. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much having an Elder Drake, but a little bit less damage. A little bit less. But still, they're really, really strong. Well, we got our first dragon for the Rams, uh, Mountain Drake. And that gives I, us I armor. I personally like Mountain Drake. And that, well, that's actually really good, now that I think about it. Now it's all armor. Now it's all Mountain Drakes, right? Okay. Yes, all okay. Mountain Drakes. That's so good for the Rams. <laughs> because Rengar just is a physical damage, and he's really the biggest threat. And, and it also yeah. gives you a shield once you yeah. get the soul. So, they, so Rengar it's... can probably not even execute the Kaiser with right. four Mountain Drakes. That's pretty crazy. It really is. And it's going to help with the smolder too, because the smolder is going to dish out damage, but they have to dish out a lot more damage now before the smolder can execute them. All right, here we are in the mid lane. Ames is going to look for a W here. Come on, Ames, hit a W so I can see the damage. <laughs> I want to see it. Okay. I'm sure we shall see it soon enough. Well, his man immune is now complete. I don't know what it's stacked to, but. It's complete. It's done. <laughs> so he's got that bonus damage and bonus mana. Somewhere between the 300 and 400. Yeah, maybe 350. Oh, looks like a fight in the mid from Rengar. Nope. Just hopping around wards. Oh, maybe Jordan's getting hit. Jordan's just playing with fire in there, trying to say, hey, what's up, Rengar? He, he has enough escapes. I'm getting vision. He can do Ooh. it. Oh. <laughs> Good thing that's not AP Maokai. Good thing that's support Maokai. Those things will hurt. They sure do. That's another reason why they should not be giving any Mountain Drakes to the Bulldogs because they have two big tanks and if they get any more armor, magic resist, and a shield, it's not going to be fun. So tell me what the uh, thing around the Aesol means. Does that mean he's got his big ult? Like his, that on the sidebar there? Oh, I honestly do not know. Where is uh... it? Uh, it's if it, a so that that little icon right there. Is that oh, the little circles. No, yeah, it, like so. like on it after the health bar, you got like that little icon. Oh that's yeah, his that's ult. his ult. Is that his big ult? Because he's got two different ults. He's got a smaller one and then his other one that he cycles through. I can't remember how it, it looks works. like it's the the big ult, but I honestly, if I'm completely honest, I do not play Aesol enough. Well, he's got two ults. One's small, one's big. Uh, the big meteor coming yeah. down is the big one, uh, and he cycles every time he uses his ult. It cycles. I, I don't remember exactly how it works, but I do know that is true. <laughs> we shall see when he ults. Yes. And then we will know forever. forever. It looks like uh, they're positioning around Baron. Baron's the only uh, objective up right now, but no, neither team really wanting to take Baron without mm -hmm. getting a kill first. So you can see Rengar is like trying to stop to stop the vision. If our caster, anytime you see a W come out, caster, if you can look at the damage being done by Kaisa, that'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I should see like Shannon Talia or bot bot lane because Talia has her teleport up just in case we're going to be fighting for the Drake, the the Baron. And Shan knows, like, he has his teleport and he can just ult somebody. So they're just staying bot lane right now while everybody else is uh, around Baron just to poke and see if we can do a Baron fight. But so far, none of them want to commit to that fight. It's a big commitment. Yeah. All but right. Looking well... at everything else, the. The kills, like, we're way ahead. The Rams are way ahead. Um, they have a little bit, like, a few more dragons. Like, one more dragon. But it's not as big as, like, the damage or having extra... It's just utility dragons, really. Yeah. I think the dragons would be the next big fight. I don't think either team is caring too much about the Baron. 
Does Aesol have TP? He does. So Aesol yeah, can TP to this fight. And so can Orn. And so can Shen. So the Rams are splitting the map. Looking to see if they can find any picks with the Kaisa W. That little missile flying out right now. Every time she hits one, it's a big poke damage. Yeah, Orn is also looking there to do something, but... Oh, there is that's a, big a huge engage. pick on the Vanguard. It's completely deleted. And a big dragon. Oh my goodness, the Orn is surviving, but eventually it's taken out. That was a huge pick on that Ranger right there from Rakan. Just no second thought, straight up goes in, ults that Ranger. Ranger couldn't do anything. And the rest of the team just blew him up, especially that W from Kaisa and the, the soul doing his damage. It's just. He was just gone. That new Baron yeah. animation. Whew. They did decide not to go for the Dragon, but just go straight for the Baron. It is more gold, it is a bigger objective. And it looks like the Bulldogs are looking to get this dragon. Yeah, the Rams gave up the dragon when they went to Baron. I actually disagree with the decision, but I am not the shot caller. Maybe... I probably would have just gone for both. They have but, so much health still left. After the Baron, I would have straight went to the Dragon, but that is just me. Nah, I don't know. It's it's a hard decision. I mean, it's not the end of the world because it's not the fourth Dragon, but now the Rams have to fight for every Dragon that comes up. If it even gets that far, because they're really pushing right now with this Baron buff. Shen is pushing top hard. Yeah, he's got the empowered minions up there with him. Oh, Rengar is in the mid lane, looking to assassinate an Aesol. But Aesol gets out. He flashed. And yeah, they'll died. probably get that mid tower. And they're also pushing both tower while they're trying to get the tower. And another big five just deleting that Orn. But, you know, I think uh, they're... The enemy team is responding correctly, just pressuring mid and bot because the Rams are super aggro on top. Yes, but, they're just they're about to get another tower and But they might just keep going. It might just be like, hey, they're all bot side. They are trying to go back to stop the big push bots the top side. Yeah. I think the Rams just need to leave. This is like a get out angle. Rakan did not want to go out. There no. you saw the damage from the W. <laughs> oh my goodness, it, the damage is huge. And it, it, the Rakan was actually huge in that play, blocking the Maokai R. There's a Ranger, and he decided to jump the Rakan, <laughs> but Rakan just knocked him up with his final breath, and that was a Ranger gone. Yeah, Yet Rengar... another player that cannot stop their push. Uh-oh, can the Rams get this tower? They're so low on health. Oh Fryer my was goodness. really, really close to getting executed there. Oh, he Fryer. lives. Oh, Fryer gets him, though. Yes. The Rams are going hard in the paint for this one. Does the Orn die? No. barely surviving. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, Ace one gets the ace. kill. But how much time is left? Four seconds on the support? Three seconds on Talia? Yeah, he needs to book it. But, but we we did get the whole thing finally over. Talia coming in with her old, <laughs> trying to get the soul, but Sol is like, "I'm out of here." Bye. Wow. Yeah. Talk about a broken champion, Asol is. <laughs> That's Talia's ult flying across the map, and Asol is just like, "Nah, I'm gonna fly just as far <laughs> farther than your ult." Yeah, so. I'm out. <laughs> That was a really, really big push by the Rams. They got everything open from the top lane and the towers at the Nexus. So it's just a wide open Nexus ready to be taken. Oh yeah, that's right. They got the Inhib and both uh, Nexus. Ah, did they get both Nexus troops? I can't, I don't think I'm so. Pretty sure Soltik got it. Okay, yeah, he did. You're right. He so did. it is an open Nexus if the Rams ever decide to go back to that top lane. 
it's kind of interesting. I, I said the Rengar was going to be a problem, and he was, but... And we're kind of just going oh in right there. Oh my goodness. The damage from Kai'Sa. I really do like that Rakan and Kai'Sa duo. It's just, they've been playing so well this whole game. Rakan goes in, Kai'Sa does all the damage on them, and they just have no choice. Not a chance. Just and gone. Kai'Sa, the crazy thing about this Kai'Sa build is that she doesn't have to be in range to do damage. She can be, like, pretty far across the map. Like, see that missile coming out? That hits. Yeah. That hit somebody. And it did damage. It did a lot of damage. It's really nice for an ADC when you can just stay back. But the beauty is also Kaisa just has the ability to stay back but also just go in. Exactly. Yeah, and she can just execute somebody if she decides that she wants it bad enough. All right. Oh. Oh my goodness. That is <laughs> I think uh Jordan somebody just trolled uh I think it was a briar. Liquid just trolled his uh AD carry a little bit. <laughs> They're just having fun, I think. All right, Dragon is up. And it looks like the Rams are going to fight this because they need to. They can't let the enemy team get a fourth dragon. Yeah, but they're already there. Ranger's actually going back to base, so there's not going to be an outsmite or anything. It's one on the dragon. Yeah. Look at that. Aesol's over the wall doing... I, I can't. Riot. <laughs> Riot. What is with your champions? I know, right? First nuclear missile Kaisa throwing nukes across the map. And then Briar ult. <laughs> misses, but also across the map. Aesol with super range, it's just, oh my gosh. Lux. Cannot forget about the Lux. And Lux, yeah. Jeez. The big rainbow laser. Alright. Looks like the Rams have opted. Oh, they found a pick oh, on the Maokai. Okay. Maybe, yeah. but he is pretty... Yeah, no, he's down. That's Kaza a big... Is so strong right now. I... That's a big ult coming out from the Aesol for no reason, but... I guess it secures the, the kill, but here comes the rest of the team. They are looking to steal this. Ranger is about to go jump down just to try and steal this. Yep, and he does Kaisa not. Oh my god! It. Oh, Kaisa, Kaisa goes in. Kaisa oh, I it. wish I could see Kaisa go in, but she's in there. She's in the back line. Oh, yeah. that looks like it's going to be the game. Only Orin remains, and he is a tanky boy. Antalya. Trying to poke from behind, but Shan is like, yeah, I, I don't know. He stopped tackling me. <laughs> Maakai is still up, but with the full Rams team plus a bear and buff, it does not seem like Maakai could do much to actually stop this push. So this game is definitely in the bag right now. All right, GG's boys and girls. That was 